there was some really good stuff happening. Although we do want to admit there are probably a lot of things you didn't get to do in, in 2020 or probably some things you wish you could you could change. Uh, like we, we didn't get to go, uh, we were supposed to go skiing, we didn't go out west, go skiing. We were supposed to go to Greece, we didn't get to go to Greece, uh, all those kind of things. There, there, there were probably some things that you would change if you could. There are probably some regrettable moments. I mean, how many times did you forget that you were on zoom and your mic was on when you said that comment about so and so or maybe you typed something like I did several times in the chat room I learned in the chat room in zoom uh, that sometimes people are paying attention to what's said in the chat room and sometimes they're not you need to you need to know that uh, before you type in stuff in in the chat room in zoom or did you ever have your camera on and wish that you hadn't had your camera on in zoom you know some regrettable moments uh, some things you would change maybe, maybe there's some moments where you just snapped uh, because 2020 got you, you're like, oh, if I could go back to that day and not be so angry, not be so grumpy, or maybe you ate too much or binge watched. I, I mean, how many shows did you binge watch and make your way through in, in 2020? Uh, you can look back on it. You know, the trouble is, like, there are moments I was like, I wish I could change this or change this or change this, and it'd be great if I could get a do over, but but I can't. I can't go back and fix 2020. Uh, it's in the past. I mean, wouldn't it be great, though, if we were like Scrooge? Remember the story of Ebenezer Scrooge and the Christmas Carol about how he gets a chance to do life right? He sees the past and sees the present, like, oh, I can't handle that. And he sees the future, like, I want a different future. And he gets to change. I mean, wouldn't it be great if life was that way? And I mean, the truth is, life is that way. We, we do get a chance. We can't fix the past, but we can influence uh, uh, the future. You, the future is wide open. You can change. Things can be different. And you, you just have to put the effort uh, into it. And so I want us to look at that today about as we move into 2020, the first Sunday of 2020, oh, I don't want to go back to 2020, the first Sunday of 2021, as we move into that, uh, this scripture passage uh, from Isaiah is one of the traditional passages of the new year. So Isaiah is speaking for God here. He says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on, on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness, streams in, in the wasteland. Right, don't, don't dwell on things of the past. What you got to do, moving into 2021, you have got to let go of the past and look to the future. And that may be the hardest part of our faith right there, letting go of the past. You can't fix the past. You can't change it. You, just, you can only thing you can do is start working on, on, on the future. And so don't dwell on 2020. Let's move on. It's 2021. Let's just wipe the slate clean. Well, you can't really wipe it clean, but you can start fresh and start anew in 2021. And here's some things I'm going to do. So just quickly, some ABCs uh, about 2021. One, assume responsibility for your life. More of us need to do, assume responsibility for your life. Your choices always determine what happens more than your circumstances do. I mean, I can't control what is going to happen in 2021, uh, 2020 taught me that. I mean, I, 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 I joked with staff a few weeks ago, we're moving into 2021 and I feel as least prepared as I ever have moving into a new year as far as plans and events and things like that, which is crazy because in 2020, we, we were more prepared than anything else. We had some big things we were doing in 2020. Like we had changed worship service times. We were starting a big small group push. We had all these things planned out and None of that, none, none of that happened. I, I can't, I don't have any control over that kind of stuff. But what I do have control over I, I, is me. I can't control what's going to happen in the world. Um, I can't control what's going to happen in Ormond. I hardly can control the things that are happening around me in my life. I mean, if everybody would listen to me and do what I tell them to do, the world would be a much better place. However, uh, I don't have any control over that. The only thing I really do have control over is me. I, I, I have um, control over my actions and my reactions and, and we can choose to point fingers we can choose to blame and say it's all their fault or here's the problem and truth of the matter is we did that really good in 2020 and where did it get us I mean think about how many finger pointing moments we had in 2020 about here's the problem and why they're the problem kind of stuff I really have no control over that and I can make excuse after excuse why it was okay for me to binge watch and eat my way through whatever I, I, I did but the truth of the matter is we all need to assume responsibility for our happiness. We need to assume responsibility for the direction our life's taking. We need to assume responsibilities for the actions of how we responded, of how I, what we said, of what we did. Nobody made us do those things. We, we, we choose uh, uh, to do them. Uh, I have some responsibilities we all do for our lives and how we live it. 
I, I can control how I respond. I can control how I act. That is my responsibility, something to look and work on in, in 2021. 